Hey everyone, this is Kevin from Kevin's Micro Fleet. Today I'm coming to you with an informational video. Uh, as you all have probably found out as you've looked at some of my other videos, I do a decent amount of 3D printing as well as painting of miniatures. So as you can see, I've got some here behind me on the shelf. Um, I wanted to go through and describe a couple of different ways that I go through and do this process. So I'm going to go ahead and start here with just a video of just how to set up a 3D print on a 3D printer. Now I'm using the Elgoo Mars 2 Pro. Um, this is a very entry level type of printer. It's a fantastic printer for the quality that it provides as well as the cost. Uh, I believe that I got this off of Amazon for around $180 when it was on sale. I would highly recommend if you were looking to get into 3D printing, this is a great place to start. So let's go ahead and dive into the video here, which is just gonna explain again how to set up a 3D print. So here is my 3D printing workstation. So I've got my printer here, I've got my resin, and then I've got all of the different materials that I use later for cleaning. So before I run a print, uh, what I'm gonna do is I actually take the, because I moved the 3D printer, I'll actually take this part, this vat off. And it's really important when taking this off to make sure that you don't get anything on the back of this because uh, with this vat, this is a little plastic sheet here. It's called the FEP. And so you don't wanna get anything on the back of that because that'll get smashed in between the FEP and the LCD screen, which is that black part right there. So whenever you're setting it down, you wanna set it down on its side like this. So then what I'll do is take a level and I'll actually lay the level directly across the machine to check and make sure that it's level front to back. And then I'll do this as well, side to side, to check and make sure it's level. Once I know that the machine is level, I already know that the plate, um, which is there on the top, is level as well. So now I can go ahead and put the vat back in. When putting the vat in, the way that I do this is as soon as I get it set in like this, I'll lift it up like that so it's uh, resting up against this bar and then slide it back in place and then go ahead and drop it down and just make sure that it's in a good spot and tighten the screws down. So that way everything is level and I know that the print is gonna run. From there, what I'll do is I'll use this uh, PTFE lubricant. This has been a really important step in the process for me to make sure that prints actually uh, don't fail. So I'll put it on one of these soft blue towels and then I'll go ahead and rub it onto the FET. Now, one of the advantages of this is that it will get some stuff off there. So there's like a little tiny gray piece on there you can see. So I need to get that off. And let me do that really quick. So now I'm putting the lubricant on. And so you can see that it's pulled up quite a bit there. So I'll just continue to you know, basically rub this into the FEP until it starts to get uh, lessened. Um, now the other thing that I'm looking for as I'm doing this is I'm looking to see if there is anything underneath the FEP. And so I can see that I've got, it's probably just some cat hair that is on there and I can actually see there is a little hair that's right underneath there. That's underneath the FEP. So that's in between the FEP and the LCD screen which will um, potentially ruin part of the print. So I'll go ahead and get that out of there. All right, so now uh, I've got that hair out of there. I've got the lubricant on and so now I'm ready to go ahead and select the print that I'm gonna do. So I'll go down here these are printing files that I've already designed and supported. So we're gonna go ahead and do this uh, pilots. And so now I'm ready to go. What I need to do from here is go ahead and put the resin in. So now I'm ready to pour the resin. Uh, before I get too far along, the one thing I do wanna show is I do have a thermometer up here. So I put this uh, in a while ago just to be able to tell what the temperature and the humidity is. I do this out in my garage just because of the smell. And so I found that I really need the temperature to be around this 65 or higher um, for it to work. And I do have a, a heater right here that's just blowing over here towards it. So it does help to keep everything relatively warm. So now I'll just go ahead and pour the resin in. 
And you do want to be wearing gloves while doing this process um, because if you get the resin on you, it's uh, it's kind of like feels like a chemical burn almost, um, but it doesn't actually burn your skin. It just feels that way. So now the resin is in. Uh, so I'm probably putting in there more resin than what I need to print this. This is just going to be some figures that are not very tall, but I want to make sure that I have plenty of resin in. So I'll double check, just make sure all of the screws are tight, the build plate is on there tight, and then go ahead and hit play. So now what's gonna happen is you can see here the build plate is lowering. And then what will happen is it'll go down into the resin. It'll then show us what the image is that's gonna be printed. And then it will go ahead and start running it. So for the very beginning of the print, it's typically going to be laying down some base layers, so there's nothing really fancy about it. And typically the exposure is a little bit longer, so it can really make sure that the resin cures to the actual build plate. Now I'm leaving the top off right now just to show the video, but I will put the top back on this here in, in just a minute. There it goes down into the resin. So I typically am watching to see when that happens to make sure that the, the actual, uh, so there's the image that's gonna come up. That's what's gonna be printed right now. And you can see down there, it's showing you the, the time. The time will change here after it gets past the first few layers. It says two hours right now, essentially. It'll probably adjust to about three hours. Um, but uh, when I'm watching how the plate goes down into the resin, I'm looking to see how that resin flows back over the top just to make sure that it's level, even though I know it's level. So now what I'll do is go ahead and put the top back on. And now we're good to go. So from here, it's just a waiting game, just to wait and make sure that everything prints and see that it all comes out uh, good.